It's Coach PJ, and in this video, I'm gonna share with you three of my favorite boxing drills that you can do at home, whether you're brand new to boxing or whether you're advanced and have been trained for years. These drills are great for you to work at home with no equipment. So this video is for you if you're new to boxing or you're just wanting to change things up and train at home with no equipment. But before we get started, drop a comment below and let me know where you're at in your boxing journey. Let's check out the first drill. So in this first drill, we're gonna slip to our lead side, then we're gonna slip to our rear side, followed by a roll to the lead, then a roll to the rear. Then we'll step back and then step in, basically working the fundamental movements in boxing. Going to your lead side, rear side, lead side, rear side, stepping back, then stepping in. When I slip, I wanna imagine missing a punch just by an inch. When I roll, I only need to get as low as the punch is coming at me. So perfecting these movements will help us become better fighters. We're gonna do this drill for an entire three myriad period. Once you slip, slip, roll, roll, we're gonna step back and then we'll step in. When I step back, I wanna lead off my lead foot and when I step in, I wanna lead off of my rear foot. Once this movement gets consistent, you can start to pick up the pace just a little bit slipping right into your rolls, right into your movement back and then forward. When you do this drill, you wanna make sure that you keep your hands up, protecting yourself at all times. Keeping this drill as realistic as possible by imagining a person throwing punches directly at your face. Make them miss and then get ready to make them pay. Try this drill for three minutes straight. When you get done, take a 30 second rest. So for our second drill, we're gonna start shadow boxing. We're gonna begin with a jab, cross, hook. When our jab's fully extended, it's gonna retract right into our cross. So these punches are gonna kinda of be in sync. Our cross is then gonna recoil, go right into your lead hook. So jab, cross, and then hook. Slowly, precisely practicing this basic combination until you master it. I wanna slowly rotate my hand, bringing it right back to my face, rotate my knuckle, and then turn my hip onto my lead hook. We're gonna do jab, cross, hook for three whole minutes. Once you feel a little fluid and a little warm, we can start adding the movements from the first drill. Jab, cross, hook, slip, jab, cross, hook, roll, jab, cross, hook, step back, or even slipping to your rear side. Perfect the drill and get better at shadow boxing by being purposeful with every single punch. Move well and make this three minute round count. For our third drill, we're gonna have this as a conditioning round. When we're tired, we already warmed up and moved well. We're now gonna do an entire three minute round where it's non-stop work. 30 seconds of push up and punch, 30 seconds of lunge punch, and then 30 seconds of elbow plank and punch. Each segment, we wanna work as hard as we can and push yourself like a sprint. With our lunge punch, we wanna make sure whatever leg goes back, that same hand goes forward. Keep a consistent flow, making sure that both knees are bent at 90 degrees. Continuing to breathe well and punch at full extension. Keep those hands up, protect yourself at all times and push hard through this 30 second segment. When we get to the final motion, you wanna get down to your elbow plank as soon as possible, staying nice and low, keeping your hips square and low to the ground, and then reaching across and extending that punch. When you hold the elbow plank on one elbow and two feet, it's very difficult and your body is tempted to rotate the hips. Try to stay as low as you can, as flat as you can, with your head, shoulder, hip, knee, and ankle all in a straight line. Try your best to make this three minute round the toughest conditioning round you got. And there you have it, three of my favorite drills that you can do at home on your own without equipment. Thank you for watching. If you found this video to be helpful, be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe below for videos just like this. I'll see you all at the next one.